Hello there, YouTube. We're going to see if this pot stand will work. I know the top ain't open, but this gets pretty hot. There would have been 12 holes, but I skipped one. So I can have my handle hanging over from my coffee cup. They're about 5 8 diameter. We're going to let this get burning real good. So it really comes out of the jets before we put the can on the top. Okay, we really like this wood gas stove, this design. It really comes out of those jets good. Okay, we're going to put this on top. We're going to see what happens. A little view here. So you can really see it coming out of the jets. We'll stop and we'll go to Telemacro so we get a little better. Okay, we get a little better view in there of the jet holes. That's a lot of fire coming out of there. It's probably going to melt the tin can. We'll find out. There's just a slight breeze out here. These cans do have a coating, so don't breathe it in. It's like a Teflon coating. I'm trying to get another shot here. I'm trying to look through the camera. You really see it pouring out of them jets. This may improve how this comes out of the jets. We don't know because now it's coming out of these holes too. So it's coming out of the jets and coming out of these holes. So we may may have made a new discovery. We'll find out. Uh, we're looking at the clock. It's seven minutes till the hour. In case I forget the time, we'll see how long it takes to boil water without a lid. Okay, we thought we'd show this. It's only been two minutes, but you could put a pretty big pot on this, I think. That's a lot of fire coming out of there. Of course, I'm using those hickory wood chips, and they're dry, cured wood. I mean, they've been setting in where it's dry all summer long. Hope I don't destroy my cup. I can't even find these anymore. Can't find the Coleman coffee cup anymore. That is a lot of fire. Those are 5 8 holes at the chicken can. The can that your chicken comes in, it fits right in there real good. I centered it the best I could. There would have been 12 holes by left one, so there wouldn't be so much fire on the handle. This thing's really roaring down there. You can see where it comes through the jets and comes out these holes. I've seen what the wire mesh pot stands from the gutter guard or the hardware cloth, which is just like a screen with big half inch holes in it or whatever size you buy. It's the same kind of cloth you'd make uh, crawdad around here, fish traps with, lobster traps. Starting to die down a little bit, but we are burning the gas off the wood. We'll be back if we get a boil. Whether or not we get a boil. It's been three minutes. Okay, we did have to add more wood chips. So, I'm going to take that can off and use a pair of pliers or something. I use needle those pliers. But, regardless, we've only been at this nine minutes from start. It is like two after. I can go back on the video. It's two after the hour, and I can't remember what time it was. Seven minutes till the hour. Said so you can put a bigger kettle on this. If you had the right sticks in here, you may get more heat than the... Let's get the camera to see it. You may get more heat. I like how that comes out of the jets. It really pours out of the jets inside there and comes out of this can. I don't know how much this can is going to take. I know it's hard to heat up stainless compared to if you had a little tin can of water on here, it would probably have been boiling a lot quicker. But, you can, like I said, you can always... Make a handle on this. I may make a handle on this to take this tin can off and throw more wood chips in there. We have a very nice boil. There's a lot of heat in here. The can sure stinks. It'll get better. I may like this idea. I did cheat and put a lid on it till it boiled. It's down the coals now. But this could set on here and stay warm for quite a while if you was if it was warmer. It's only 38 degrees out. It's starting to sprinkle out. 
We have a chance to sprinkle and drizzle today. So, I do like that idea. I know hardware cloth is going to be a lot quicker. You have flame directly on the bottom of the cup. But, thanks for watching this little episode. I really like this wood gas stove. Uh, I get my glove on here. I will get brave and take the coffee cup off. And the can off. Got a lot of nice charcoal in there. So I know if it was warmer out, you'd have a lot of heat. I'm sure you could cook some soup on here for a few minutes. That's a lot of coals. A lot of cold down in there. So that's wasted heat. I can hold my hand there and it's hot through my glove. I'm sure that would just eventually put it out because we killed everything. But with all the coals, you could keep it warm. This is another one of my ideas. Even though it's down the coals, the coals until they went out to keep it warm. It would be a way to put it out. Save your paint can lid on these. Uh, you can use it to snuff the fire out. That's good charcoal. That'll relight again. You, you let it dry out. Die out and dry out. That's good charcoal. Don't let that stuff go to waste in there. Shake it up a little bit. That's good stuff even if it went out. Thanks again for watching.